have my 20 week update for you guys getting a bigger by the minute as you can see so I actually have quite a bit of things to update you guys on so I'll go ahead and get started one of the biggest things that happened during this past week was I had to go to the hospital I woke up having really bad cramps really low down here it felt like pain and pressure and it felt like I needed to have a bowel movement. I tried going to the bathroom several times. Nothing came out. I wasn't feeling like I was constipated. It was just like lots of pressure down there and like really bad cramping. Like as if I was on my period having really bad cramps and I started having shortness of breath. It was starting to become hard to breathe and I was laying in bed with the fan on me and the pain wouldn't go away. It was like 30 minutes straight that it was hurting. And I called my doctor and my doctor was booked for the day. And the other doctor that is in, he was out that day. So they had me go to labor and delivery at the hospital. When I got there, they hooked me up to some monitors to make sure I wasn't having contractions, making sure the baby's heartbeat is okay. Everything was good. I wasn't having contractions. Turns out I was dehydrated, which is so crazy. The only drink that I drink on a daily basis is water. I don't like soda. I don't like juice. I don't drink milk. So the only drink I drink every single day is water, but apparently I don't drink enough of it. So they gave me this big 28 ounce jug of water and told me to drink all of that before they would let me leave. And as so, my shortness of breath was kind of caused from being dehydrated, but also because he is getting much bigger. So they said he is pushing up on my diaphragm and all of my organs inside, which is making it a little bit harder to breathe. And also when you reach your third trimester, it can become a lot harder to breathe until the baby drops. And then you can kind of feel some relief and be able to breathe normally again. And as for the pain and pressure, they said, since this is my second time having a child, that my first son pretty much stretched me out. So now that I'm pregnant this, pregnant this second time around, all my ligaments are down there getting moved around, getting stretched out, my uterus is expanding, and that is why I was experiencing cramping-like pain and pressure. And so they suggested for me to get a pregnancy support belt to help lift up my belly a bit so that way I won't have as much pain and pressure, which I did get and I'll show you guys here. So not only does this one support your belly, but it also supports your back. So if you're pregnant and you have a lot of back aches, it also helps with that. So basically you would put this on underneath your clothing, but you would just put it on like this. They have Velcro straps, so you can adjust it to what is most comfortable for you, whether you want it tighter or looser. So this is really nice, and I will go ahead and link this down below in the description box if you are interested. Um, I got this off of Amazon, and I'm pretty sure it was no more than $25. So, that is one of the biggest news that I have for this week. I also took my glucose testing this week, which was horrible. That drink is disgusting. Um, so from my last appointment, which was four weeks ago, she gave me the glucose drink to take home. So that way on the day of my appointment, four weeks later, I could drink it at home, wait an hour at home, then go down to the doctor's office to get my blood drawn, which I did. So disgusting. Oh, I was gagging the entire time. Oh, I, I hated it so much. And I really hope that I don't have to take it again because when I got there, they didn't have me do the blood testing right away. They had me waiting in the doctor's office for a while. So when I had asked them when I was gonna do the blood drawing, they were like, oh crap, like it's kind of too late, but they still had me draw my blood anyway to see if it still worked. Um, so I might be having to drink that nasty drink again and doing it again, which I really hope not. So there's that. 
And that was my last appointment that I was going to be seen every four weeks. So from now on, from here on out, I'm going to be seen every two weeks. Things are getting real, guys. Very real. So my sleep schedule is kind of starting to go back to normal. If you watched my 27-week pregnancy update, you would know that my sleep schedule is totally out of whack. I was having insomnia, I was staying up all night and sleeping in all day, and my sleep schedule is starting to kind of creep its way back to normal. I've been going to bed between 3 and 4 in the morning and waking up around 10, 11 a.m., so I'm glad that it's starting to go back to normal because I do love waking up in the morning, making a big, huge breakfast, and just being up with the sun and the birds and all of that good stuff. He is super active. He's actually kicking right now as we speak. Um, he is most active early in the morning, like right when I wake up and at night when I'm ready for bed or when daddy comes home, he just starts kicking away. Like he knows he's home, he hears his voice and he's just kicking like crazy. So he has been super, super active. He also kicks when I'm reading to him and Benjamin every night before Benjamin goes to bed. I always read him a few storybooks and he always kicks every time I'm reading to him, to both of them, and it is so cute. A new craving, or new cravings, I shall say, that I have this week are different. So this week, my new craving has been McDonald's sausage, egg and cheese, McGriddles. And I haven't had one of those since I was like in middle school. And I'm 24 years old now. <laughs> so I had two of them, devoured them, and a couple days later I had them again and I had two and I devoured them. So good. I love the sweetness with the saltiness. It was just mm, very, very good. I could actually go for one of those right now. And another thing that I have been craving this week is coffee but specifically Starbucks caramel frappuccino with extra caramel and no whipped cream. Oh my gosh, I could definitely go for one of those right this second. Like, I don't know why, but coffee has been like a thing this week. I just want coffee. And I definitely noticed that I have been craving sweet stuff this week. Like, not so much salty. And throughout my entire pregnancy, it has been nothing but salty. And this week is just like, I just want like cookies and cakes and donuts and stuff like that. So, I don't know, my cravings are starting to turn, especially for this week. So that's new. I am definitely, definitely, definitely in the nesting stage for sure. I have been washing and folding and putting away all of his clothes. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. They're so tiny, especially the little socks. Like, so cute but I have just been arranging stuff in the boys' room they are going to be sharing a bedroom because we do have a playroom for the boys so half of the side of the room is going to be the nursery and then the other half will be our other son's part of the bedroom and I have just been arranging stuff building furniture putting things where I want them and I don't know, I've just really been in the nesting stage. I just want everything like fixed up and put together and ready to go in the nursery. I've built a cube organizer shelf for in his closet to put like extra stuff on. I also built his uh, diaper changing table which also has extra storage on and I have just been putting stuff where I want them, hanging up stuff and I'm just so excited. I cannot wait for him to be here. And even Benjamin has been asking, he's like, when is Brody coming? It's taking forever. <laughs> and I'm like, almost, almost. And we only have 72 days until he's here. Like, that is not a lot, like, at all. Like, it's already about to be Thanksgiving. Like, come on. Like, he's going to be here in the beginning of next year. <gasps> I just want to get labor over with. I am like so scared to go into labor even though i've already done it i don't know i think because i know what to expect this time around that i'm just like dreading it but i am so ready for him to be here and in my arms already he is also the size of a large eggplant so that pretty much 
wraps up everything for my 28 week pregnancy update. I felt like I had a lot to tell you guys, but I also felt like it kind of went by pretty fast. Um, the most major thing that happened was the hospital visit this week. The nursery is really starting to come together. We only need, like, we basically need little stuff. We still need to get a rocking chair for his nursery and a pack and play, but everything else is pretty much taken care of. It's just like little itty bitty stuff that he needs, like a thermometer, some more clothes like for the winter because most of the clothes that we have are short sleeve. So he definitely needs more like long sleeves and like pants or like onesies. Um, but I mean, we're almost there and everything is pretty much taken care of. The one thing I will say that I need to get on is getting my hospital bag together and getting the diaper bag together and getting Benjamin's little bag together, daddy's bag together, everybody's bag together. I definitely need to hop on that because you never know if he could come early or not and that way when the time does come, we are prepared, we can grab the bags and get out the door. Um, but I need to buy a few things for myself for my hospital bag, which is kind of why I have delayed making a hospital bag. Um, so I definitely need to hop on doing that. Other than that, I would say we are pretty darn prepared for him to be here already. So now I will go ahead and show you guys my baby bump. Here we are from the front. This side, and from this side. And then I just have these jeans on that I got from Target, and they have these stretchy bands on the sides, and I absolutely love them. And they have little rips in the knees, which is super cute. And the only thing that I don't like is that they don't have the thing that goes over your belly. So today I have on one of these um, belly things that come separately that you can buy. And so I have one of those on just to kind of keep everything together from the front. This side. And then from this side. And I will say that I know that I am getting bigger, faster, because I have noticed my belly has been starting to itch like crazy. Yesterday I had to keep applying my Stretch Mark Cream Lotion that also helps with itching, to helps to like relieve the itching. I swear I applied that like four to five times yesterday. I just kept feeling like really itchy and I just, you know, I didn't want to itch and make the stretch marks worse. So definitely think I'm growing like crazy these last couple months before he's going to be born. But that wraps up this 28-week pregnancy update. I really hope you guys enjoy this. Super, super excited for him to be here. It is almost time. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We appreciate all of your guys' love and support. Thank you guys so much for watching and following us along on our pregnancy journey. It is much appreciated, more than you know. So thank you guys so, so much. I will also leave a link down below for my 27 week pregnancy update. If you didn't catch that one, I will have it down below. So make sure to check that one out. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.